So planning oral presentation is much like planning any other business message. It requires analyzing your purpose, your audience, investigating necessary information and adapting your message to the occasion and your audience so that you make very good oral presentation. You have to keep in mind that when you are going for these oral presentation, certain things uh, should be in your mind. Your purpose, your audience, uh, the information that you are going to impart and how you are going to give your message to your uh, audience and what is the occasion on which you are going to give uh, your message. You come on to the main step and that is the writing oral presentation. So writing oral presentation is similar to any writing business message or business report etc. Because you have to brainstorm, you have to think of the idea, you have to think of the information that is related to your topic that concern your main purpose. So you can think of writing your writing your main oral presentation. So it can be the main points that how you are going to talk to your audience, how they are going to benefit from your message. You may like to convince audience that reorganizing the data processing department will improve customer service and reduce employee turnover. You may have the main idea to convince audience that we should build a new plant in Lahore to eliminate manufacturing bottlenecks and improve production quality. You may have the main idea to address audience regarding a new employee healthcare plan. So there can be a lot of ideas which serve as main ideas. The thing is that you must make a brainstorming. You have to see which ideas are relevant to your main idea and which are not relevant. The way you write a letter. The next thing is that you have to limit your scope. Remember that effective uh, presentation focuses on audience's need, but also tailor messages to the time allowed. So audience's need is important, but time is uh, important as well. So limit your scope. Think that whether your uh, uh, presentation is a 10 minute presentation or an hour presentation. Next thing to it is to choose your approach. Choosing approach like that of choosing an approach in writing any message. With a well-defined idea, you begin to arrange your message. When your ideas are defined, you can arrange your message in a very perfect manner. So choose your approach. Structure a short oral presentation like a letter or a memo. They are almost similar. Obviously, you will be using the same uh, organizational plan. We'll be talking about these organizational plan. Organize long speeches or a presentation like formal report. For short presentation, you will be as I just said, they are like letters or memo. You'll be using, in most of the cases, the direct plan. For long presentation, if purpose is to entertain, motivate, or to inform, use direct order and a structure imposed naturally by the subject. Begin with importance, then comes sequence or chronology, special orientation, geography, or etc. If your purpose is to analyze, persuade, or collaborate, organize your material around conclusion and recommendation or around a logical argumentation. So this is what you do when you are dealing with it. With long presentation, you are keeping in uh, your purpose uh, in your mind, either using a direct plan or using indirect plan. 